How's everyone doing? Well, welcome to 5 Minutes of Faith and Fitness. Today, we're going to look in the Bible and see how we can apply it to our lives physically and spiritually to not serve self, but to serve others. And um, it just reminds me of when I came to Vegas. It was in, wow, 1997. Been here for some time. And I was walking with the Lord and I had a, an okay relationship. And we got our kids into private school at, at a Christian school. And I know that my mind was on a one-track mind of gaining riches. And uh, everything that I talked about in, about church never showed up in the, the attitudes and the actions of how I lived. And you may have lived this way before. So maybe you're living that way right now. But what I talked about and what I said that I am about uh, when I left church and when I was out of that um, people group around them during the weekday, I totally was a different person. I never acted out the things that I said I believed in. What a mystery, right? Have you guys ever been there? Oh, what a, what a way of living our, my life. It was horrible. And so many times we see in today's lives that people live in just the same manner. Uh, today, we want to look at, uh, we want to look at James chapter 3 and just one verse, uh, chapter uh, verse 13 that says, Who is wise and understanding among you? Let him show, show. <laughs> By good conduct that his works are done in meekness of wisdom. We see that it says, show me, show me. You know, the show me state is what, Missouri, right? It's like, or show me the money. Like, show me what you got. Like, quit talking about, I know growing up and playing that in, in sports, it's like, quit talking about what you're great at. Show me on the court. And I was such a hypocrite and I lived ex exactly opposite of that until God get, got a hold of my life and had to shake me up, right? And sometimes he has to do that shaking in our lives. But the true, uh, truly wise person demonstrates his or her understanding of Christ by the way he or she lives. Our works show where our hearts are invested in. Do our attitudes and motives match up with our actions? That's what we want to ask ourselves today. This is what it says in Matthew chapter 6, 19 through 21. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and, and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. So as we look at our lives I know in my life, I was so worried about making these financial deposits in the bank. But here's what we have to do, guys. We have to make certain that we are making these spiritual deposits in life. How do you do that? You have to act out. See, God was, uh, he showed meekness. He showed humility, which in, in turn showed wisdom. It, it showed how he lived because that was that's the only way that you can give wisdom to other people is living through the things that you talk about and you get to walk through things that you get to overcome. But you don't get, get to overcome anything in life if you don't act it out. See, the world's wisdom is about just things that will satisfy them right then and right now. God's wisdom never changes. Same yesterday, today, and forever. And so how do we look at how we're big talkers in life and not showing up. Well, physically, we talk about going to the gym and getting in great shape of changing our lifestyle and, 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 and transformation in our life. And, uh, but the way we live our life doesn't match up. We don't eat the way we say we're going to, that we want whatever the result we want. Our eating habits don't match up. Our sleep doesn't match up. Our water intake doesn't match up. Our gym uh, time doesn't match up. Our activity outside matches up. And the same thing spiritually, guys. Are we talking about the creator of the universe, our Lord and our Savior? Or are we just talking about him as, I am saved and satisfied with that? And then going on and living our lives according to whatever our flesh feels that's important. It's a good gut check to see where are we? 
But it says back in this verse, who is wise and understanding among you? James asks a question. And then he says, let him show by good conduct that his, that his works are done in meekness of wisdom. And so as we remember that, that, that we need to show in good conduct that what, what we believe in and how are we showing up each and every day? Is it being a great example of the things that come out of our, out of our mouth? We know that James' whole uh, book was about show me. Show me what's, what you're talking about. And I'll show you a life that is lived for the Lord. If not, then it's just jabber. It's just words that don't mean anything at all. So go out there, guys. Continue to show up for the Lord. Continue to show up in where he is calling you in life. And let your actions and attitudes match up with what you say. God bless.